Okay, guys, next I'm going to show you the blog module. This is the blog module settings. You have two options, full width and grid width. The grid, if you do 10, 9, however many you set here, it's going to create a grid of 3, 3, 3, or if you have it set it up in here for 4, it's going to go 4, 4, 4, for however many times you have this set. And there is a way to set it for infinite scroll as well, so that it will scroll and they won't appear until it scrolls farther down but it can scroll and scroll and scroll. Uh, you're going to include your categories here. I only have one blog right now so I'm just going to show you guys the grid layout but you do have the option of full width which will take up the entire page. Here you can set the metadata format to whatever metadata format you prefer. Uh, featured image you can choose featured image, don't show featured image. If you have this on, it's going to pull the image from the featured image. So if you set this, you're going to want to have featured images on all the images because that's where it's telling it to pull the image in for the blog. Uh, the content, you can say show excerpt, show content. Show content means obviously show the whole thing. Show excerpt means show only a certain amount of words. Uh, this is for obviously like grid layout and even on the full width layout if you don't want to show all the text on that page. Uh, you have author, show author, date, show date, categories. You can say don't show categories, show categories. Pagination, so if you have multiple pages and you want to set up multiple pages, then you're going to want this on. If not, and you're only showing like three on a page, and you're only showing your three latest or something like that, you can turn this off and say don't show pagination. Uh, text color, once again, dark or light. And then just the admin label and the CSS class, CSS ID. So we have that set up for grid which is actually, it looks like going to automatically pull it in. We don't even need to do anything else except for choose a category. And so there it is for that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in this one, pause it, and be right back. Okay, so now I have my two in here. Now, right now they're both set to pull from the same one, but if you have it like me where you have a news section and a blog section, you can set one to your news section, one to your blog section, and they will both pull in from different sections. This way, if you're doing two right next to each other, they don't both pull in the exact same thing. So now let's go to preview, and we will check out the page. Okay, and here you see our blogs in the grid view. So we have this one, this one, and then our other toggles over here. So, And if you want these to be smaller, you can go one-fourth, 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 and it will make these smaller automatically. Okay, guys, I just added another section, and actually I'm going to re-add that one and do it as a full width. And I am going to, I'm going to put in a shop right now, but in order to get the shop to show up, you're going to have to install WooThemes, and you are going to have to put in some products, and then tell it how many products to pull in. Right now, I do have four products in, so this will work for me, but for you, you will have to get some products in before this will work. Uh, you can choose recent products, featured products, sales products, best-selling products, or top-rated products. And you can have default sorting, sort by popularity, sort by rating, sort by date, sort by price, high to low, or low to high. And we are going to go ahead and save this in there. And then preview. And now we will scroll to the bottom, and now you see that we have this shopping cart in there.